This is how easy getting your cat inside your carrier should be. No fighting, no crying, no fuss. The best part, you don't need an expensive carrier to achieve it. Your cat literally doesn't care. My carrier is $30 and she does just fine. Because I taught Mia to travel on my shoulder, I didn't need to teach her to go on a carrier until I had to visit my mom in Spain. To go to Spain, it was easy. The problem was on the way back. She was really not having it. This is because cats, like any other animal, go through life experiencing things. The things that are good, we want to repeat. And the things that are not, we want to avoid. I'm trying to film here. Good girl. This is exactly the principle we use for training. Behaviors that are rewarded are more likely to be repeated in the future. Let's go back to the carrier. Mia had developed a negative response to a stimulus based on past experience. In technical terms, this is called conditioned aversion or negative conditioning. The first thing that I had to do was make Mia forget <laughs> about these bad past experience by linking the carrier with positive ones. The process of making good experiences outweigh the bad experiences within a stimuli, it's called desensitization. And the way that I did it was basically leave the carrier outside, always available for her to explore. I would put toys, I would put treats inside the carrier, so every time that she got in touch with the carrier, she was getting something good from it. She soon started getting inside the carrier on her own. When she was no longer afraid of the carrier, I started teaching her to get into the carrier on command with the help of operant conditioning. In this video, I'm going to teach you three different ways to teach your cat to get on the carrier on command by pointing with your finger, by using a target stick, and finally, the most impressive, using a verbal command. I would love to know what's your favorite way to teach your cat to get on the carrier on command. Giving me this type of information allows me to define what type of content should I be working on in the future. Finger targeting, it's the first trick you should teach your cat. It's very simple, but I have a full video in case you need more details about it. I will add the link in the description box down below. You just need to add a treat between your middle finger and your thumb. And then the index finger moves up and down. Your cat is going to approach your hand to smell the treat that you have between your middle finger and your thumb. And on the process, they're going to bump into your index finger that's moving up and down. When that happens, you click, then reward. Repeat the process for as long as it's needed until your cat starts reacting to the finger moving up and down. You're going to see that after very few repetitions, your cat starts reacting to the finger and trying to bump their nose into your finger to get that click that gets them a reward. When your cat consistently starts reacting to your index finger moving up and down, you can consider removing the treat between your middle finger and your thumb. When you don't need any treat in your hand to get your cat to react to the movement means that your cat has already learned the trick. Another way to achieve the same effect is using a target stick. The target stick has two benefits compared to finger targeting. The first one is that it doesn't hurt if your cat decides to bite it. The second one, a little bit more practical, it reaches further. To get your cat to touch the tip of the target stick with their nose, the process is similar to the one that we're using when finger targeting. It's very simple. You literally point at the treat using your target stick. Because Mia knows that this is a target stick, she's literally not letting me do the training because she wants to touch it with their face. Good job. You're such a good Mia's messing with this video. I'm just going to use the short version of the target stick so that she doesn't get treated. Basically, you're pointing at the treat with the tip of your target stick. Your cat is going to use their smell to find where the treat is. And they're going to get extremely close to the tip of your target stick because you're actually touching it. When their nose gets close enough to the target stick so that they can touch it, you click, then reward. After a few repetitions, just like Mia was doing, your cat is going to follow the tip of your target stick no matter what, regardless of there being a treat or not. 
when they do that, even if there's no treat around, and reward, because you want them to consistently follow the target stick whenever you have it out. The target stick, it's also going to be very useful to teach your cat advanced tricks, like waving your legs or jumping on your shoulder. If you would like to get one, I'm going to add the link of ours in the description box down below. Now that Mia follows my finger or the target stick, I can get her to follow them to achieve movements that I could not achieve otherwise. Using finger targeting, I can ask her to follow the finger until she's in the position that I want her to be, and then I click and reward. In the case of the target stick, same thing, just easier. she reaches the final destination and touches with her nose the tip of the target stick, I click and reward. At the beginning, it might be hard to get your cat to follow long distances your finger or the target stick. Start with short distances and increase them as they build confidence that after doing the work, they're going to receive a reward. The process of getting a cat to follow a treat a finger, or the target stick, it's called luring. Luring, for instance, it's the methodology we're going to use to teach a cat to jump on our shoulder. If you're curious about teaching your cat shoulder training, consider watching this video because I created a super simple method that it's going to get your cat on your shoulder in no time. The last and most impressive way to teach your cat to get on the carrier on command is by using a word that means get inside the carrier. This trick, it's called place. For teaching your cat the place command, your cat needs to understand at least one other luring trick, either finger targeting or target stick targeting. We are going to start pairing the visual command, either the finger targeting or the target stick targeting, with a word. Great. Shorter words are easier to understand for your cat, so if you're starting from zero, I would recommend you a word like crate to teach your cat to get inside the carrier. Good girl. Repeat several times the command, just saying crate and pointing at the carrier. Because your cat already knows luring, they're going to follow your finger or follow the target stick inside the carrier. Because we're going to do it several times, your cat is going to start linking the word with the fact that they are getting inside the carrier. Great. Now the objective is to make the visual command less and less apparent. Instead of pointing inside the carrier, you can point next to the carrier or behind the carrier and see what happens. Great. After a few repetitions of your cat following the visual command as well as the verbal command inside the carrier, you can consider removing the visual command altogether. And basically, two things can happen. That your cat understands the word and they get inside the carrier. If that happens, make sure you click and reward very generously because this means that they learn that the word means get inside the carrier. This is extremely valuable and you need to make sure that your cat keeps that memory inside their brain so that they continue doing it in the future. The second thing that can happen is that your cat really doesn't understand what you're asking from them. Before you give Great. up and say the word again, give your cat 20 to 30 seconds. Cats are slower than humans and dogs at processing verbal commands, so we need to give them time to think process and try to do what we're asking them to do. If you give your cat 20 to 30 seconds and they don't understand it, go back to the visual command and continue pairing this visual command together with a verbal command trying to get your cat inside the carrier. When you believe that your cat got it, 
try again without the visual command. Great. My mom lives in Spain and I'm in New York, so I visit her at least twice a year, and Mia has become an expert at getting inside the carrier on command. However, getting the cat inside the carrier is just the first step. Cat rides and plane rides can be very anxiety producing for cats. Some cat parents prefer to medicate their cat when they go on car rides or plane rides or even to take the cat to the bed. But my point of view is that it's a lot better to get the cat used to the carrier and turn the carrier into a safe space. Teaching Mia to be comfortable inside the carrier made a huge difference on herself and she stopped being anxious every time I had to travel, but it also helped me be less anxious when I travel because I know that she's not as uncomfortable as she used to be. I've put together two videos that you might want to consider watching next. The first one about how to teach your cat to be comfortable on car rides. And the second one, it's an exhaustive list of things that you have to consider if you're planning a plane trip with your cat. Stay wild, stay safe, I'll see you outdoors.